Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you clicked yes to enable the journal when you first went to the journal view, you can instantly configure what, what items to track in the journal options dialog box. If you need to access this dialog box at a later point in time to change or edit what the journal tracks, you can access it by selecting tools from the menu bar and rolling down to the options command and giving it a click to launch the options dialog box. And here you can select journal options and give that button a click on the preferences tab. In the automatically record these items section, check the check boxes in front of each item type that you want journal to automatically record. Then in the For These Contacts section, click the check box in front of each contact name for which you want the journal to automatically record the previously checked item types. Then in the Also Record Files From section, you can click the checkbox in front of each Microsoft Office application for which you want the journal to track the use of files. Finally, select one of the two option buttons that decide what happens when you double click on a journal entry. You can either have the double click open the journal entry or it can open the item referred to by the journal entry like the actual request for meetings or the email message. Now when you've decided what you want the double click behavior to do just click OK to set your journal options and then click OK in the options dialog box and then as you actually make those meeting requests with those contacts and open those office op applications the journal will automatically record those. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free